Message de Royal FM, la radio des auditeurs. Il est 6 heures sur Royal FM. The 6 AM with Ebel, Bella, Saint-Marie. Thursday, October the 15th, 2020, 77 days to the end of the year 2020. Good morning, good people. Welcome to Royal Money News from Royal FM 88.4. In our list of this money, Cameroon Sports Minister launches research for domestic seven after disappearing with 75 million francs CFE plus 10 million francs CFE. What for bond? What does the law say when it comes to money in terms of liquid in our country? Finance law of this country gives the capacity of any individual to carry at most 5 million francs with him cash. If you have above 5 million francs, which is not immediately for a transaction, he start keeping 75 million francs in his house. is already a crime. Stay tuned for this and more in this edition of our Royal Morning News. Good morning once again. My name is Abel Bela Samari. We open our news with the news of the day to tell you that schools at the level of universities resume for the 2020-2021 academic year today after months of break as a result of the coronavirus pandemic that hit Cameroon in the month of March. The university students regained their amphitheaters 10 days after those of primary and secondary schools in Cameroon. Equally to tell you that today, October the 15, 2020, is celebrated worldwide as the International Day for Royal Women under the team Building Royal Women's Resilience in the wake of COVID-19 to create awareness of those women's struggles, their needs, and their critical and key role in our society. Despite the presence of the coronavirus pandemic in Cameroon and around the world, royal women have been at the forefront of responding to the pandemic, even at their unpaid care and domestic work increase under lockdown. Reverend Father Lucas Tassintang is a gender specialist who has worked with a lot of royal women. And when I caught up with him, I wanted to find out from the man of God what could be done in order to empower royal women in Cameroon. The Royal Women Day, for me, is a special day for somebody who has worked uh, in gender. And uh, I still believe that Royal Women is a person indicated for the growth of this country. And they have to be empowered to, first of all, render visible their action. Secondly, be considered as part of the process of development. If you want to see the 2035 emergence that we are talking about, you need to give more value to the rural woman because she is the bearer of life, she's the creator of life, and she's the giver of the spirit of growth. Reverend Father Lucas Tassintan speaking there. And to tell you that 81 Cameroonians depart from the United States of America have arrived the country on board a special flight. The 81's asylum seekers are amongst millions who made attempts to cross into America by Mexico. Contrary to social media reports calling on the American government to stop the deportation on accusation of crimes and extrajudicial killings back home, the government of Cameroon has collaborated with the United States Diplomatic Service in the strict respect of international norms. The Director of Civil Protection at the Ministry of Territorial Administration, Mada Mariatu Yap Abdu, has been elected the Secretary General of the International Civil Defense Organization. She won by 30 votes against 23 for her challenger from Lebanon. Let's now listen to Madame Mariamu Yap Abdu in the following excerpt. I will start by thank my president, His Excellency Mr. Paul Bia, because he is the one that trusts me by giving my candidacy at the ICDO. And all ministers like the Minister of External Relations, Minister of Territorial Administration, and all actors like a permanent engineer who support me campaign the Cameroon win 
Здесь тоже. You are listening to Royal Morning News, the 6 a.m. newscast coming to you from Royal FM 88.4. We talk politics in this newscast to see that 10 cases of candidates who list were rejected to run for the regional elections have been rejected by the Yaoundé Administrative Court due to lack of evidence by those concerned to justify their claims. The verdict was uh, passed yesterday by the president of the court. Anaba Mbo Alexandra after hearings of uh, the different petitioners. However, parties are free to follow up the case at the level of the Supreme Court. Here now are the reaction of the representative of two political parties. I suppose that yeah, there, uh, there was very difficult, but with the decision of tribunal, we can say that it's very good for us. You have uh, CNPR president, CNPR president. Here, I suppose that is, is a victory for us, but we have to continue our combat. Here, we attack the list of CPDM. We attack the list of CPDM. Then we are very happy to have this, this first of decision and we have to continue our combat. Okay, my name is uh, Ekani Otu. I'm national director of uh, Front Democrat Cameroon, uh, Cameroonian Democratic Front. Uh, here we are at this court. We accept the, the verdict. And at the, the issue of this verdict will be attacked at the uh, Supreme Court because at the uh, new uh, and so uh, subdivision we need some time to uh, bring some proof uh, to show that our motivation is real. Those sounds were collected for us by our report, uh, Kelly. It uh, over in the southwest region, the southwest regional administrative court in Boya have heard and ruled on the petition submitted in relation to the list of retained candidates for the regional election bill for December the 6th, 2020. Out of five petitions filed in by some traditional rulers and the other individuals vying for the divisional representative, the court found two of the petition admissible and ordered that the names of the petitioners should be accepted into the list of those running for the regional elections. Like I said in our lead story, a document circulating on social media do make mention of the fact that the domestic servant of the Minister of Sport and Physical Education is on the run with 75 million francs CFA and 10 million watts of fuel bonds. According to Tebo Post, an online news porter, Minister Nancy Molekombi launched a complaint against his domestic servant who left with huge sum of money. Earlier on, I spoke with Nelson Lambris, a legal mind, to find out from him what the law says vis a vis the amount of money to be kept at home. Take a listen to what Nelson Lambris had to say in the following soundbite. Finance law of this country gives the capacity of any individual to carry at most 5 million francs with him cash. If you have above 5 million francs, which is not immediately for a transaction, maybe you, you go take it from bank and you want to pay the salary of your workers. Okay, that can be limited. But a minister keeping 75 million francs in his house is already a crime because according to the finance law in this country, it means you are hoarding the economy means you take the money and you keep it don't circulate normally you're supposed to keep the money this money in the bank and allow the bank uh, function by doing what is known as a credit creation in order for the economy to be to be functioning normally you don't need to keep money in your house right up to this amount 75 million francs FA. it's terrible I will take you out of the country to over in Nigeria. A protest against police violence in Nigeria capital, Abuja, has been attacked by unidentified men wielding machetes. Witnesses uh, said several hundred demonstrators were gathered in the city center on Wednesday when the attack took place. One of the protesters said some of the assailants were later detained and hand over, handed over to the authorities. Demonstrations have taken place in cities across Nigeria in the past week. The unrest has continued despite dissolution of the controversial police unit, the Special Anti Robbery Squad. We talk sport to say that uh, the proposed date for the 2020 2021 National Handball Championship in Cameroon has been fixed for the 21st of November 2020 while pending confirmation from the Board of Administration.
Federation meeting of the Cameroon Handball Federation. This is one of the several resolutions arrived at at the end of a meeting between officials of the Cameroon Handball Federation and the president of the handball clubs, uh, presidents of handball clubs in Cameroon held at the headquarters of the Federation in Yaoundé yesterday. Yes, an essay of Harry Achifon, head of the referee commission, who is also in charge of the training of referees in Cameroon. He spoke to our reporter, Ben Emmanuel. I am Henry Achifon. I am in charge of the referees commission and referees training in Cameroon. I am also a referee lecturer of the African Handball Confederation and also a lecturer of the International Handball Federation. It was very important for the federation to call up the presidents of clubs, the, all the responsibles in the clubs, to have this meeting with them and solve problems that we've been having during our competitions. And you know, this year has been a very special year with the COVID-19 and uh, there was a question of the African Cup of Nations June next year, from the 10th of June to the 21st of June next year, 2021, the preparations are going to be at intervals. At intervals because we have to start with the championship. So we'll give a break. break that will be given. It is going to be for the training of the female national team. That is going to be uh, periodical. And uh, we think that we'll have about uh, two or three periods before before that time. We are hoping, as usual, that the Ministry of Sports and the Fiscal Division through the government is going to help to see how we can prepare. And more news in the sports, uh, more sport news will be us at 7 a.m. in our Balingua Sports page. And to equally tell you that 8 a.m. this morning, we have the French version of our newscast. 12 noon will be in the French, 2 p.m. in the English language. At 6 p.m., it is going to be a Balingua version. The team keeping you company this morning is made up of Karopo Dance and Teresa, copyright class. Solomon Sana is a sound engineer. Link with our video editor on our Facebook page, Raya FM Cameroon. The news was produced with the support of Ben Emmanuel. With editorial coaching coming from Bertrand Wuna, coordination was done by our own station manager, Wojciech De Kiki. General supervision was ensured by Reverend Pastor Emmanuel Nobisai. For presentation, my name is Abel Bela Samari. Up next is Royal Martina with the man they call him Dominique Eleva, who is here with me in the studio. Good morning, Dominique. Bonjour, Abel Bela Samari, mesdames et messieurs. It is bonjour. Thursday. Oui, c'est jeudi, c'est le quatrième jour de la semaine. C'est avec beaucoup de plaisir qu'on vous sert encore ce matin. Et vous avez certainement remarqué lorsque vous montez dans les taxis, très tôt le matin, il y a des élèves qui, euh, filles comme garçons, qui vont à l'école. Ils ont quelquefois des tenues soit trop courtes, soit trop serrées, des tenues euh, très à la mode, très tendance. Pourquoi les parents laissent-ils leurs enfants, leurs progénitures sortir avec des tenues?